Okay, cool. Okay, so this is about Amazon optimization. I have been working on this book with my editor, Sarah, over here uh, for a couple of years now, really. And uh, during that time, I studied Amazon optimization. So I was pretty sure I was going to self-publish. And I wanted to know everything I could. And some little angels came by and told me, you know, check this person out, check that person out. So I was eating up these free webinars. Um, the guy who I really, there's two people who I really like. One is, his name is Jeff Affleck, G-E-O-F-F -F Affleck. And he does, he does basically what I'm going to do, but he's really experienced. And, um, and he has all kinds of offerings. And then the other guy is this guy named Dave Chesson, C-H-E-S-S-O-N. And he uh, makes this program called Publisher Rocket, which we're gonna be using today. And this is like the greatest tool in the world for self-publishers on Amazon because it knows everything about I have to read things if people write me. I will listen to every word, but I will turn my video off sometimes. That's fine, Sarah. Um, great. What was I saying? Dave Chesson. Oh, Publisher Rocket, Dave Chesson. Yeah. yeah, so this tool is amazing. So it tracks everything that happens on Amazon, basically, this Publisher Rocket tool. So you can tell who's searching for what and what's happening in all the different categories. So the things that I learned about having a successful time as a self-publisher on Amazon is that first of all, you need a cover that, not need, but it really helps to have a cover that looks like candy. Um, Hillary, I thought your cover was amazing. Andy, yours too, just amazing, beautiful covers. Uh, I, they were really impressive. I know, black and white candy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Somehow, with even though it's black and white, I mean, it's it really shown through. Andy and I were we lived in in our freshman year at Wesleyan in college. We Lord were down. next door, next door neighbors, and yeah. he was in the room right next to me. So it's neat to see oh. you. I want to say hi. Lovely to see you too. Yeah. Thanks. So, so that's the first thing is that you want a, a cover that looks like candy. The next thing about your cover is that you want to be able to read the title and the subtitle when it's shrunk down to an Amazon thumbnail size. You should be able to still read both the title and the subtitle. Those are two important pieces about the cover. The main things that I learned with Amazon optimization. So some of you might have seen probably the reason you're on this call is because I like hit number one <laughs> on Amazon. <laughs> Well, I'm doing something right. I'm doing something right. Exactly. When that happened, I thought, okay, my, my studying paid off. I, uh, and that's because I'm in categories that are very not competitive. I chose categories on purpose that were so easy that even if I have one sale in a day, I'm a bestseller. <laughs> I'm number one just from having a single sale. So these things exist, but it takes a little while to find them. And then keywords are also important. So that's categories and then keywords. And keywords are these magical words that you get to choose that you want to use in your title and subtitle. If you haven't already come, some of you have books already and some don't, you want to use keywords that are that have a high um that are not very competitive uh but but still get searched and there's ways to see this and i'll show you on publisher rocket in a moment uh so yes yeah, so your keywords you want to pick are highly searched but not highly competitive so for me my book was a dating memoir and if i just put dating my oh, book boy. would never get found mm -hmm. right because mm -hmm. everybody marty i'm gonna just i don't know if you're sorry are you talking oh it's okay <laughs> i was responding i was just acting Oh, okay, okay. I thought you were talking to somebody else. Feel free to, to, to stay, to keep your volume on. I just thought you were talking to somebody else. Um, dating, too broad. Dating, thank you, thank you. you. Dating, dating would have been too broad, right. So I picked things like, I used combinations like edgy dating or empowering dating or 
it turned out that romantic comedy was a huge keyword when we discovered that like all of a sudden it was like ding 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 and when i combined it with memoir romantic comedy memoir all of a sudden like you know all the lights started going off so i found these keywords and the way that i found them was by using my avatar and some of you might know what this is but your avatar is like when you imagine the person who's going to buy your book out there mine like her name it was like Marissa and she lives in Chicago and she had two kids. You know, I make up this person in my mind uh, who's the person who's the typical person who's going to be looking for my book. And I would sit here imagining I was Marissa and type in, I would be wishing for my book you know, hoping to find my book. And what would I search if I was going to be looking for my book? And I just kept, I would, I spent hours and hours and hours doing this for my book. I think there's easier ways, but I just, I just channeled my avatar to search for my book. So let's take some looks at, let me see if I had any more, uh, Okay, so all the, all the information that I found, I saved either in a Google Doc or in an Excel spreadsheet. So I'm gonna share my screen. And some of you sent me, uh, let me see here, sorry. Let me stop that for a sec. Some of you sent me your information and so I'll be working with those, Hillary and Andy. And then also Andre sent me his information and he's not here, but we can look at his also. Oh, I shared the wrong thing. Did I share Publisher Rocket? Do you see? Oh yeah, 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 sorry. Here we go. Okay. This is the I one that you see, right? right yep. Okay, so Hillary, I'm gonna start with yours. So I started off with your keyword that was shifter, right? Yeah. First of all, can you just tell us a little bit about your book? Sure. So um, if you saw the cover, you'd know this is a romance <laughs> novel. <laughs> um, so the romance business has a bunch of different subcategories. Mine is firmly in the camp of paranormal romance, which... Um, basically has elements of the fantastic uh, within the sort of tropes of romance, which to have romance, it just has to have a, a love story as a central component and it has to have a happily ever after. Pretty much anything else goes. Um, so my series that I'm writing is called The California Demigods. So the magical component here is we've got, you know, sort of modern day mythology with goddesses and gods and demigods. And then um, the series is basically each, each is a standalone book within the series, which has a larger arc to the series. So I'm publishing the first one in June. I've got four written. I'm gonna have four novels and a novella out in 2021 and just kind of push forward from there. So- Whoa, um, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Romance, romance readers are binge readers. They want a series. Um, right. The first book in the series, the demigod is like an animal shapeshifter. That's like his magical thing. So that's why shifter is a really common thing you find in paranormal okay, romance okay. books, which is why that's one of the keywords I picked because people Great. do want shifter novels basically. So let's take a look. So I plugged in shifter because I never, I didn't even know what that meant. I didn't know it meant shape shifter. I plugged in yeah. shifter. It looks like, so there's 26,000 other people writing books using shifter as their mm -hmm. keyword. So yeah. that's not a good keyword for you. Uh, but there are a lot of searches every month, 7,000 searches. So that's yeah. great. Uh, I, so after that, and then I look through these and you can click on any of these. Like, so right. if any of these look, looked good, Shifter Romance, the competitive score over here is kind of what we're looking at. 85 is really high. For a new author, we want this number to be lower than 40. So you want high searches, low competitors, and that'll give you this low competition score. Right. And that's what we want. So do you have a dragon in yours? Book two has a dragon. 
Okay, so we can just take a look. Maybe there will be something a little different here with the, with the dragon like shifter. The dragon, the dragon shifter is in book one, but he's not the main hero in book one. Well, good enough. See, it's good enough. It, it's, okay. it's just a keyword, you know? So if somebody's looking, it doesn't have to, you know, okay, so this okay. is better. The competitive score is 48. Now, okay. I also looked at ebook because I saw that your ebook is on pre-order. Is it going to also be this this search thing? You can it's search also for be in paperback. a paperback. OK, so the numbers will be different in paperback. But for you, I just use ebook. Yeah. Um, now, Most romances sell ebooks. It's like 85 percent of sales. So. OK, yeah, yeah. Bit, that's the main focus. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Then we're in the right place. Yeah. Uh, also, shifter romance. That's too broad of a, of a category. But then when I saw it was California, I did a different search for California shifter. And this was really good because it has a low competitive score of 25. You still have 600 searches a month. That's really good. You want, you know, at least 100 a month. And there's only 216 other competitors. So California shifter romance is much better. Um, I looked Even up though their also, monthly earnings are only $79. <laughs> no, that don't even think about that because okay. here, so, so what that is, is that means that means that people are using this keyword, but they're not buying a lot. They're not actually, they're not liking what they're seeing. So that means that there's a market for you. Okay. So it's actually good to see a low number here okay. uh, because you see high searches, low number. That means something, you know, yeah. if you have a really high number here, thousands and thousands, that could mean that, um, you know, Brené Brown is making that in my case, it was like Brené Brown has the top five and she's making, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars. It doesn't mean that you'll make hundreds of thousands of dollars. Some, okay. Yeah, okay. So there's a couple other ones that I looked up fantasy futuristic. Let's see, I'm just gonna scroll down and look at these competitive scores and if there's anything else. No, that doesn't look so good. So basically you spend some time, mythology, adventure. Oh, I think that these might be uh, Andes actually. Uh, well, mythology, adventure might apply. I don't... <laughs> mythology, it could be well, there's a lot of that, mythology in my book. Um, I'm not that was California a, that... though, so it's probably her if these are all together. No. Well, you guys were right next to each other. I think I took these, Andy, out of your book description or out mm -hmm. of your um, oh. your reviews, oh. your reviews. And oh, it was, nice. there was mythology, lyrical adventure, mythology adventure. So we'll get to that. See how these are the dark circle B? That means I search for a regular book because I thought oh. yours was a regular book mostly. I saw there's a Kindle edition, but it's is both. That right? Yeah, it's well, print right? on demand. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's see shifter and then i tried these i'm going to just finish up with hillary here just kiss wild yeah. that wasn't good wild kiss that wasn't good oh yes so let me say something about the title and the subtitle so when you find if you're if you haven't come up with your title of your book and your subtitle uh when you put keywords maybe i already said this but when you put keywords into your title and subtitle they get weighed heavily so it's like the amazon really like you get like maybe like I don't know, 300% more. It's, it's like three times more powerful to put them into your title and subtitle than just hide them in the little keyword section on Amazon. So uh, when you're thinking of titles for your book, you want to be working with keywords. After the fact, it doesn't help so much. But, um, but when you're still coming up with your titles, that's a powerful place to use keywords. Um, let me see other ones. So Hillary, maybe you can think of one now since I've explained a little bit that you might think would be like paranormal or demigods. Demigods romance maybe? Romance, and let's put something, how about California? I think that there's something about making it more specific and we'll see. Oh, I just looked under book. This is gonna be a book. I'm gonna do it under ebook. Uh, new search and then you do it here, ebook. Uh, demigods, California, romance. Okay, doesn't really matter what order they're in. Let's see. Nope. Let's try demigods romance, like you said. Demigods romance ebook. Okay, so this one's not giving us a whole lot. 
sometimes there's like a big long list. Oh, look at this one. That's a really yeah. good one for you, That's Demigods Romance. One. Yes. And then here's one that's uh, not plural, but just demigod romance novels uh, has still a lot of searches. It's higher competitive. So can you see how this one, demigods romance, is a way better uh, keyword because there's way more searches. There's more. Yes. There's more people writing the same book or using the same keyword over here in the competitors. But there's a lot of searches. This is a great one. A lot of searches, low competitive score. That's a power okay. keyword for you. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, by the way, this tool, Publisher Rocket, uh, I think it cost $100. It might have been $200. And, okay. and I can put in the chat uh, the link to buy the program if you want. It's like so powerful and I've spent so many hours on it. Yeah, um, I suspect on that. Is that like per month or just straight out? No, so it's a one-time purchase. Then I bought all these tutorials on top of that because to learn how, like, how do I actually use this? At first I was, come, I, just like what Hillary was saying before is like if the average monthly earnings were like in the millions or the hundreds of thousands, I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna be filthy wet rich. I didn't understand how, the, how it all works. So I had to buy these programs that taught me how to analyze the data I was finding. I was just finding all this. Okay. So by the way, if you do do this, what I would do here is highlight this one that we liked, copy it, and move it into, I'm just gonna put it here into a Excel spreadsheet. I would just copy it in there and save it uh, there. And then later I could, I could sort my Excel spreadsheet by any column I want to. Okay. Amy. Um, uh, yeah. This also work for Audible books, for eBooks and printed. I don't think it's for Audible. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not, I haven't found anything for Audible through this. Yeah. I have no idea how Audible is connected to the rest of all of it. So I think they're going through Amazon, right? I think it is through, yeah, it, it is through Amazon. Amazon. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anybody else knows anything about it, but, but Publisher Rocket, I don't think has a search mm -hmm. for it. But yeah, I'll ask the guy Dave about it. How, how you might use Amazon for, I mean, how you might use Publisher Rocket for Audible. That's a great question. Will you put that in the chat for me, Breeze? I was about to ask, so do questions go in the chat? Yeah, yeah, put questions in the chat. That would be great. Or just chime in if you feel like it's like the right time to ask it, ask the question. So let's take a look now that we found this demigods romance. We like this keyword. Let's look at the other people who are ranking the top five books or so that f that come out when under demigods romance? So here we go. That's these guys, and I, this doesn't really really mean that much to me, except for that we get to the categories, and we see okay, where are these people? What are they calling their categories? So here we are in the categories. Now what we want here sales to number one and sales to number 10 are the two columns that I look at. You want these to be low numbers. So all these are too high. 28 is still pretty high, 28 sales just to get in the top 10. So I'd say all of these are too competitive. I wouldn't use any of those for myself. They're just too big. I think Hillary, I think you might have used this one, romance, paranormal. You're going to need a Four hundred. question though, like they yeah. gave me almost no options when I was selecting categories. It's like, it has to be romance. It's definitely paranormal and, and like you just kind of get stuck, right? So it wasn't like it even offered me to go further and say werewolves and shifters. It just stops at paranormal when you're selecting your categories. Right, right. Here's this one, Werewolves so and like, Shifters. This, is, this mm -hmm. seems to be like Amazon is the one that assigns these further categories for you. You don't get that option to select it yourself, as far as I could tell. You should. There's a place where you uh, where you can sign up for, I think, two or three categories that you put yourself into when you right. do your listing. Hold on. I'm looking at it right now. Hold on. Mm -hmm. And it is hard to find the, and it's different for the ebook and the regular book. Um, but so we would want to find 
something less competitive than anything I'm seeing here. It's just, these are too competitive. So if I had gone under like memoirs, you know, I'm like up there with Michelle Obama and like, you know, there's no way I can compete in memoirs. So I wound up like in memoirs, there was like, it was like biography and autobiography. And I was like, okay, biography. <laughs> I mean, I really kind of like finagled it around. And, um, and I picked, you, you don't have to be, okay, I know that you think that you have to be in romance. You probably do, but. Definitely do. <laughs> but I. The thing is, well, I don't know. I mean, like I said, I'm this, this is not my wheelhouse. I'm a nonfiction, I'm writing a memoir. So Jeff Affleck would be a better person to talk to about these things because he's more broad. But um, so like when I, when so I'm here, choosing categories, mm-hmm. I'm looking right now at what they offer me. Uh huh. It goes romance, right? And then there's several categories under that. So fantasy is one and paranormal is another. The only one that lets you break out even further beyond that into more categories is historical. Uh Uh-huh. And that one doesn't work. I was not able to select paranormal and then werewolves and shifters. Right. Knowledge is something that only Amazon would assign on its own. I've heard this from other authors I know. Okay. And that's not something I'm being offered to select. So maybe, I know that it's a romance, but see under here that there's science fiction and fantasy and then there's romantic. Like there's other ways I think to getting to romance. You don't have to be totally honest with the categories. That's what, that's what I'm saying is like, I'm I'm not a biography. I did not write a biography, but I was ballsy enough to say that I did. (laughs) And because of what you're doing at the beginning, eventually, yes, you want to be in the romance category, but if there's no way to compete, why would you choose that? You know, there's like, it's like, okay, I'm going to be like, you know, 5 million ranked 5 million. Like, you know, there's no, it doesn't help you at all to be in that category. And you want to use those categories to help you. So I would find a way to say like, well, maybe it's like women's fiction you know or maybe it's like whatever sci-fi or maybe you know there's another way to get towards something that still kind of describes your book but you can compete in you don't want to use like uh cooking in southeast asia you know that's not going to work that's not fair you know i i didn't use anything that had like transgender studies or anything like that i'm like i can't i can't do that i don't want to take that place of somebody who's in this kind of like special niche category and say that I'm in that but biographies of philosophers you know I could somehow get behind that myself so you have to just find your own ethics around it and what are you willing to say and start playing around with uh with the categories and 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 I would get off romance if I were you I just think it's a dead end for for success as far as Amazon categories go even though of course it's a romance no I think you get two or three yeah, that's what I thought too. Two categories yeah. they allow they you. Two? Okay. two for the book, two for the ebook. So you can kind of play around with them, you know, because there's different. See, here's books, and then there's the Kindle store. So they're going to be different. You want the Kindle store for your ebook and the regular one for your books. Oh. Yeah, they're different. So I'm going to leave this for now. Um, um, I've got a question want... real quick. Sure, yeah. So I put this in the chat too, but so my book is kind of like a self-help relationship, semi-biography kind of book. Mm-hmm. Does that play in my favor then? Does what? That having, that's what, that's kind of the genre of my book. It's like, it's all of those things. So self-help is like way too competitive, right? Too my competitive. book is also kind Absolutely. of competitive, kind of self-help, but like, I'm not going there. Like it's just too competitive. So it's better to find something that's more specific, more nuanced about your book. You know, you don't want to go oh, with please. these really broad categories. You want to go with demigods, you know, you want to right. find like the demigod, you know, that's smaller or California demigod, you know, the more specific you can get with your keyword, that'll lead you to these categories. That's what I was saying. That- it's kind of relationship and biography too. So that's mm-hmm. why I was saying, does that kind of help if I mix those with it or do I have to drill well- it down even more so? We'll have to look. I mean, I can't give you the answers. You have to like, just look and find the data. So let's go back to, 
Oh, let's get out of here and go back. I can't see anything. Go back to the keywords. And I wanted to, I'm going to just stop sharing just for a sec. Um, and I wanted to take a look. And Hillary, I can help you a little bit more. We can look a little bit more at yours um, sometime. I just want to make sure I kind of get to everybody's. Yeah, of course. Who, who Thank you for things even what you've already done. I, I've already put Demigod's Romance in my keywords. <laughs> great, great. Yeah, that'll help. Okay, so here's another thing before I forget it out of my mind. In the keywords, you have seven unique slots, right? Yes. They say, what I learned is put your first three boxes your most powerful words, you know, the best okay. keywords you find, put it in the first three boxes. In the rest of them, load them up with as many keywords as you can that work for your book. So like I might have like dating honesty in one and then a fun dating book in another and then da da da. And then another then and then in the next four it's, I'm just packing them. Rom-com, edgy, memoir, dating, romance, fun, you know, words that I haven't already used. But, um, but, the, but those, you just want to use them to their max and really fill them up with keywords. Okay, so I wanted to just look at, I took some notes on everybody's. I looked at all the, um, your descriptions and everything. Oh, Hillary, in your description, you changed tenses and you you had past tense and then you had present tense. And so I would check that and, and just make it right and have just yep. the same. OK, so that was that. That's all I had. The only note I had for you. Yeah. OK, Andy. Yours looks pretty good. You got 167 in science fiction and fantasy art. That's pretty cool. Um, are you still here, Andy? Is he gone? I think okay. Yeah, he had to leave. He, he had said to leave. He had to run. <laughs> I'm just talking into the wind here. So, okay. Well, maybe I'll, hmm. Should we, should we look at his? I think I should. I said I would. He was here. I should have done his first. Okay, share screen again. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let me find my publisher rocket. Okay, now share screen again. There we go. Okay, share. So let's look a little bit at his. His book is a, I wish he was here to describe it to us. I'm sorry, Andy, that we didn't do that before. Okay. Andy's book. Oh, here, I'll tell you this. There's a typo in your, I'm talking to the recording, but there's a typo in your description. One by a pirate captain in a hand cards. That doesn't look right to me. Something's wrong with that. So fix that first. Um, then there, you only have two reviews. So you want to make sure you have at least 10 reviews. You should at least get your friends or somebody to make sure that when you launch, you've got 10 reviews, I think as a minimum. And then if you feel nervous about asking for reviews, you can ask people for ratings. And that people have to download your book in order to leave a verified review. And also they can't be your Facebook friend. This is gonna be impossible for me, right? So what I did was I uncoupled my Facebook and my Amazon pages, and I'm hoping this is gonna work where I don't have any links to Facebook on Amazon and I have different emails that I use on Amazon and on Facebook, totally different emails. And I'm hoping that that's good enough for, for my Facebook friends reviews to still count. Um, there's lots of self-publishing book groups on, on Facebook that you can join and ask questions. And so I've learned a lot just by, by talking on Facebook. Um, so Andy's book didn't have a subtitle. So that right there, you lose you lose some potential weight of your book by not having a not having a subtitle. And I wrote uh, mythology is too competitive. 
So that was the, um, look at this, he's, he's ranked number 4,724. You wanna have a higher rating than that in mythology. It's just too wide of a category. So we'll look at some of the ones that I plugged in for him. Lyrical adventure, that's no good. Right away I see less than 100 searches per month. Mythology adventure, same thing. Illustrated adventure book, pirate story pictures. At least that had 100. So 100 is supposed to be the, um, like the number. If you haven't 100, it's good enough. Uh, and, and it has a low competitive score. So that's good. So that would be a better one probably than what he has, pirate story pictures. Um, ancient race story that's also has competitive score of one that's really good um, mysterious ship I was hoping to get some more out of him uh, because I don't really understand his book so Andy I think you should get in touch with me and we should talk separately about these things because I kind of want to be a little bit more interactive with people who are here right now and um, so let's do that Maybe Marty, you were asking a question before about uh, about your book, and you said it's like self help relationship. Can you say a little bit more about it? Uh, yeah, the movie, uh, the book's called Choose Your Movie, Change Your Life. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, it's it's based on my uh, travels in uh, getting through a divorce, getting back into life, and rebuilding relationships. So it's basically okay. using movies as a litmus or the baseline of basically recasting life around you and picking your friends so if you if you were a person looking for your book sitting at the computer and mm -hmm. wanting that kind of book so what, might you say something like get over divorce or what do you think yeah i would say um because some of the people i've used it with would be divorce breakup mm -hmm. um death you know, people have lost people in their lives. Uh -huh. um, Should we, let's start with one. How about, do you want and do you want to look for a book or an ebook? Book, because okay. there's going to be a, a complimentary workbook that goes with it. Okay, great. So breakup, should we start with breakup? Let's sure. see. Let's we'll see what happens. Let's see what happens. I think it's running slow because of um, having Zuma. Okay, breakup. Probably. Breakup book, breakup healing. So this is a good example because now they're going to give us some other ideas of what of good words. What words might be good search words? So breakup ninety five, not good. Eighty five, not good. Breakup healing, that's better. Mm -hmm. There's four hundred fifty five searches every month, and it's a low co competition score. So that one would be way better. Breakup healing, okay. Mm -hmm. Breakup healing. Now we have breakup workbook. 20 but there's not enough searches so you wouldn't want to use that the modern breakup book break up and break out so you can see we can use any of these um you can go down and click or you can just keep like i do i i keep thinking about my avatar and what she would um plug in and yours Maybe is like what, yeah uh, what's considered a good competitive score to look for under 40 for a new author. Under they say if you're a published author, and this other one I saw was 44. That's not good. That one's not good. What about uh, breakup depression? This one. Yeah, I looked that one up, didn't I? Breakup depression, there's not enough searches. Oh, under 100 good. searches. Yeah. Okay. Breakup essentials, breakup guide. It's probably not a breakup guide, but it's okay. These kinds of things also, it doesn't matter if it's the right keyword. If it's something close, that somebody might be searching for who's kind of interested in a book like yours. You just kind of want to find keywords that are good. They don't have to be like the most, just like the categories don't have to be like the exact category of your book. The keywords don't have to be exact, but it has to be enough that somebody who would search for it would be also interested in your book. So you don't want to like a book about car mechanics if you're looking for a breakup book, but you right. could have something about, you know, friendships and things like that. It doesn't have to be specifically about breaking up. What about making friends? Yeah, making friends. You want to try that? Making friends or what What else? Oh, friendships. travel. Friendships? 
Friends after divorce, maybe? Um, okay. Life after divorce? Let's try that. Life after divorce. I'm thinking this travel thing is interesting. I'm gonna, um, okay. If you happen to find one that's really, really good, like if you're in here and you're like, oh my God, all of these are so good, then you can open them all up. Uh, and then hit export and this whole thing will go into its own Excel sheet and oh, you don't have to perfect. copy and paste oh. like I do. Okay. Yeah. Life after divorce book. Life after divorce doesn't have to suck. That's funny. Uh, How did but people search for that? It's actually not that many, not enough yeah. to make it. But there's only one competitive one other person who is probably a book <laughs> called that life after divorce doesn't have to suck i'm sure that's the name of the book probably okay so there's not that much left over here uh -uh. i got it i'm gonna x out this page even though it's got some good things on it but i'm what happens is if you have a lot of searches up here then all of a sudden you have just a little bit of space at the bottom so right. i'm gonna just get rid of it and start a new um <laughs> and also publisher rocket only lets you slide to the side you can't go up and down or make it smaller that's funny so let me see. and now it's it is weird it, it dominates the screen can you still see it or is did it stop sharing it must it have stopped, stopped sharing. sharing okay let me start again share okay so marty let's find you a good one I want to go with this travel thing. I'm having a feeling about divorce and travel. Keyword okay. search. Divorce, travel. The more specific you get, the better your keywords movie. are. And movies. Yeah, I'll look at that one after. Okay. Yeah. So here we go. Divorce, travel. Nope, it's not that good. Happily divorced? No. Okay, I don't see anything there. Divorce and movies. Divorce movies. It's, this is going to be somebody searching for a movie. So that's not. Oh, you think so? Yeah. But if no. it says divorce movies, it's a better keyword. But uh, I think it, I think somebody who would plug that in is looking for a movie about divorce. Because let's see who the competition is. It only happens in the movies. Okay. So these are books. Yeah. Le Divorce. Mm -hmm. My mm -hmm. way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and let's let's do this unleash the categories so we can see what categories if we used it's not like you have to use that as a keyword, the divorce movies, but um but it's a it's a way to get some similar books. Like these books might be similar books. I did it my ways. Surviving Agent Orange. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what these are. <laughs> Le Divorce. At least the first couple of books. Yeah. Let's see these. We can, so you can see all the categories from all these. That's the Unleash the Categories button. Or we can just see these. So let's take a look at this book, the categories that they're in. Here's a good one. Teen and young adult li literature and fiction, performing arts and film. That would be for somebody, if you could squeeze yourself into that category, four sales to number 10, 11 sales, you're number one wow. in that category. That's great, right? That's the kind of numbers that you're looking for when you're doing your category mining, looking for categories. I already have a I mean, number one. Categories. <laughs> What? I think we have a number one. Exactly. Number one. Exactly. Yeah, you become number one like that. You just have to be able to get behind the category. Like, can I do that? Can I be that? So, and we can look at this other one, Le Divorce. Let's see their categories. See, these are all too hard. They're too competitive. Right. I wouldn't go, I wouldn't use any of those here. See, these are the ones that romantic I could have comedy. used for mine. Romance, romantic comedy, right? Yeah. I'm never going to show up with that. I never, yeah. nobody's ever going to see me if I do that. Okay. Yeah. So you want to get found on Amazon. So you got to play the game. That's why they have the game. Okay. <laughs> they know you're going to play the game. That's why this thing exists. Yeah. <laughs> this tool. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. That's very helpful. Yeah.
So let's see who else is here um, or has a question or an idea of something they might want to search for their book. Anyone? No? 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 <laughs> what? We can go back to yours. If you want to go back to mine and we can look for other keywords, it's fine with me, but I don't want to hog up all your attention. <laughs> we'll, we'll do that if nobody else has it. Um, Steph, is it Stefan? Do you go by Stefan? I'm thinking that we want to do a little bit for your book, right? Do you want to? Can you unmute yourself? Hmm. You're still muted. Oh, there we go. Hello, hello. Hi, hi. <clears throat> so? So my book is a difficult category. It's not fiction, mm -hmm. but it's strange. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I had a meeting with a collective of nature spirits who wrote a book through me. Mm -hmm. And the book is based on photographs that I've taken of things that they sculpt. It's almost like artwork for them. Mm -hmm. And so the book is both pictures, but it's about nature spirits. Can we look for nature spirits? Yes. Uh, I, I didn't have Publisher Rocket, but uh -huh. I went on Amazon and started looking at similar books. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I Great. found uh, nature spirits and, um, well, I have a whole list of possible keywords. But wow, this publisher rocket is awesome. It's amazing. Yeah. So so Nature Spirits is going to be too competitive and looks terrible. No searches. So okay. let's look for Nature Spirits and Elemental Beings. No, not enough searches. If you see About under 100 me. here, you don't want to use that. Here's of the trees. Hmm, elemental Beings. Elemental Spirits. Garden Deva. Yeah, Davis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These are all really nice, nice words, but unfortunately, they're not getting searched. Nobody's searching them. <laughs> so, wow. so we might want to go with something different. Let's go down to nature spirit and see if there's anything there. Let's see if we can get a little more broad or here, spirits of the earth. Here's fairies and elves. See, even if there's no fairies and elves in your book, it's still kind of in the same area. Sure. Unfortunately, there's nobody searching for that either. That Types of spirits. Me. It does. I know. Okay. So we need to go somewhere else. We can't use those. So let's see. Um, how about forest art? Oh, wow. How's that? I'm sure. just thinking, you know, because I, I really related with that cover and that concept. I didn't get too deep into your book, but I was like, oh, I liked looking for these things. Um, and also you're talking about something that's kind of channeled also. So we should look for that too. Here, there's yeah, the, a much better one. The phrase, the phrase like channeling nature crossed my mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do that. We'll look at these first if there's anything in here. But forest art, it's at least better because you have over 100 searches a month. Okay. And um, it has a low competitive score. So that's a better one for you than nature spirits, let's hmm. say, which is kind of strange. But now, Sarah, you just said, what did you say? Channeling nature. Channeling nature. It's good to have a group kind of thinking together because it's true. It's hard. Sometimes it's hard to think of what would be a really good keyword nature channels channeling nature spirits unfortunately no why isn't anybody interested in channeling nature spirits nature nature channel and nature so channel the, are the book is essentially about <clears throat> that the nature spirits want to help us to be more ecologically minded that humans are ruining the earth and they're really upset about it they want to inspire mm -hmm. us and work with us so i was thinking um, maybe saving the world, global warming, mm -hmm. uh, permaculture, sustainable living, earth okay. stewardship, you know. All right, let's pick one of those. Which one do you want to use? Uh, let's try uh, earth stewardship. <clears throat> okay. You can see how this can take a while. <laughs> okay. 
steward of the earth. Nope. Let's go a little bit more broad, um, like like saving saving the earth. You said saving. Yes, the saving the earth or the world. Saving the world. Saving the world. It's also <laughs> biography stuff. Biography, it could be. Mm -hmm. Saving the world in other extreme sports. <laughs> Look at that! No, <laughs> let's go to save the earth. Save the earth. Global warming, you know, that'll be a huge one or climate change. No, save the earth. This huh. is really odd. What are people looking for? They're looking for romance. They're looking for romance <laughs> novels, you <laughs> people. The number one selling genre in the world. The multi it is. Industry, I know. So. Mm -hmm. That's what save the earth. How, how about something obscure like hiking in nature? Yeah, let's do this. Or communing with nature. Communing with nature, sure. Uh, nature art. I don't know if that'll be too, uh, there'll be lots of searches maybe, nature art. I think that was in one of the other ones. We looked up forest art. We can look for nature art. That's a good one. Let's see the name here. of my book is Conversations with Nature Spirits. So Nice. That's good because you've got that conversations with like there's conversations with God and all that. So that'll be already a well searched. Those are good keywords, conversations with nature spirits. Okay. But we're not finding it here. So we're going up the wrong, we're climbing up the wrong nature spirit tree here. Okay. You said, Sarah, you said nature art. Yeah, nature art. Um, and then maybe spirituality might be a, some kind of word. Mm -hmm. Nature. Yeah, nature and spirituality, nature art book. Oh, finally, we got one. There you go. Yeah, nature. That's a good one. Nature art book. Wow. So isn't it funny how like it's not intuitive at all? You have to actually get the actual statistics of what people are searching for. It's just why is nature art nothing, and then you know nature art book is something. It's just like what's going on in the collective unconscious and what people are typing in. So huh. we can look for another one. Let's see, what were we just saying a second ago? Let's see, how about hidden, already... hidden nature or invisible nature? Okay. So yeah, because we're getting these under a hundred, we wanna get more broad. So we could go to like nature and then maybe publisher rocket will tell us. Let's do that. Let's go to nature. And then we'll get some suggestions and these should be better. Another thing is that the numbers are much lower on printed books, which is what we're looking right now, okay. much lower than they are in eBooks because more people search for eBooks these days. So nature is good. Thank God people are still interested in nature. <laughs> but it's a competitive score of 100. We're not going anywhere there. But let's take a look. Bringing nature home. Let's see what that is. Normally, this is much faster. Huh. Uh, I'm sure that Zoom is slowing the system down. OK, nature anatomy, nature journal. That's not right. Oh, I like nature's best hope. Okay, it's probably not such a good keyword, but let's see. Um, oh, it's actually much better than I thought. Um, yeah, 1730. It might be that there's a book called Nature's Best Hope. So let's take a look at the competition here. Sometimes that happens. There it is, Nature's Best Hope. So somebody's actually, they're searching for that book. But you can ride on the tail of that book by using that book as a keyword. So if there's an author that's kind of similar to you, you might use their name or the title of their book actually as a keyword. That's something that you can do. Wow. I think something that you can't do is use like bestseller as a keyword. There's certain things that, that are no-nos and you can't like all of a sudden call yourself a bestseller when you're not. But so that's, that's good. The nature of fragile things. So here we see other kind of similar-ish books, bringing nature home. 
let's see. Let's just pop these categories just to see some categories that are potential for you. Ah, now we have some nice numbers. These are easier, easier than the other ones that we were seeing for Hillary with those really competitive romance numbers. Nature is uh, way easier to compete in. No, only one sale. If you can get, if you can get behind being in, <laughs> in crafts, hobbies, and home gardening and horticulture regional, <laughs> why not? Your book is kind of regional, right? It's like That's around true. here. Hey, or here's this one, landscape and ecology. These are all really good. These are animals, wildlife. So these are good. These are, these are ones that I would choose. When you see a two over here in sales to number 10, that's a good, that's a good category for you. Um, if you can get behind it. Hobbies and home. Huh. I think people are going to be surprised when they dial my book up looking for gardening and horticulture. I don't know. <laughs> you know what, you know, they, people don't even see these categories. They're not huh. searching for you in, in the category. Okay. You know, they're, you're, you're just listed under those categories. So it's really just a way, maybe, maybe if you, if you looked at um, like, let's say romance for Hillary, you know, you'd see like the, the top five or 10 people in the romance world and nobody else. So we're not gonna get found in our true categories unless your category is so niche that you are like one of the only authors writing in that category. Okay. Which yours might be, you know, if you can find like a nature spirits category, which there might be one of those, there's thousands of categories. So uh, yeah, I mean, we can, Let's see, category search. So this is a different way to get there. If you go to category search, let's see if we, nature. Okay, so here's some categories for you. Nature and wildlife gardens. This is in the way. Um, here's one, sales to number 10. Oh, underwater. I don't think we can get behind that one. Know. <laughs> you know, <laughs> or <laughs> if you, if you don't know what to write a book about and you have published a rocket, you can see where the holes are and you could now for your next book, you can do underwater <laughs> the images that show up underwater. <laughs> but if your last word was forest, exactly the same thread there books arts and photography photography and video nature and wildlife and then forest maybe that might not be oh true. Maybe there. well you mean oh. here yeah instead of that last word underwater yeah except for that these are the categories that already exist and i don't think they uh -huh. i mean unless we can find it if it's here here's nature here's some more earthquakes and volcanoes not so competitive uh, yeah, you can't just make your own category, but look at this one. This one's really good. And it has just nature at the end. It says literature and fiction, history and criticism. Eh, you know, it's not so far from what you are doing. So I would, I'm interested in this category. Okay, history and criticism. So this is, so if this was me and I was, I'm like kind of looking through and I've, all these things are coming, I would highlight this whole line copy it and put it into a Google doc. Okay. And that's what I do with these things. Uh, here's another one, probably not Arctic, but coastal deserts. For sure. Yeah, those are good. Science and math, nature and ecology, ecosystems. Sure, why not? You can get into those. The wetlands, recycling save the earth. Ooh, if you could have some fish in yours, this is really good. Only five sales to number one. <laughs> huh. That's pretty good. That is. See, these are great. Look at these amazing categories here for you. Wow. I talk about recycling. So that that's good. Great. There you go. Yeah. So you can use that. Oh, look, here's Deborah popping in at the last second. So uh, anyway, it keeps going here. Look at all these number ones here. These are all so interesting. Not science, nature, and how it works. These are children's ebooks. Huh. Is your book also kind of a children's book? Could it be? Hi, Deborah. Um, it's a little more sophisticated than that, but the yeah. pictures are great. Yeah. Well, if a kid would enjoy it, then why not stick it in there? <laughs> Hi. Hi, Stefan. Hi. 
Hello. Hi. All right. Hi. Ooh, here's a really <laughs> good one. Look at this one. Four sales to number one, one sale to number 10. Nonfiction. Okay. Science, nature, and how it works. Botany. Well, Again, it's a stretch. It's a stretch. But if you can get behind it, it's okay. What you do is you enter these non-competitive categories. And then as your book climbs in the ranking, you can be in more competitive categories. Inventions and inventors like me, you might consider yourself a philosopher <laughs> or an inventor. So here's one, six and one. You don't have to feel too bad about it because nobody else is even using these categories. You know, that's what it's telling you is that there's nobody using these categories. How many categories do you get to put yourself in? I two. think you get two in uh, Kindle and then two in paperback. Uh -huh. Oh, look at this one. Oh my gosh. This is your category right here. Literature and fiction. Cool. Literature and fiction, literary criticism, subjects and themes, nature. One sale, you're number one. Wow. That's it. That's a that's a that's a hot category right there. That's a good one. So literature and fiction, poetry, what? No, it's oh, oh the one above. It's this one right here. Got it. Kendall Books, Literature and Fiction. Hmm. It's a uh, it's subjects and themes, nature. So for the e for your ebook, literature and fiction, literary criticism, subjects and themes, nature. Got it. Thank can, you. you got it? Yes. Okay. That's a great one for you. Huh. So we're at the last minute here. Oh, here's another one though. Hunting and fishing. <laughs> Not so much. <laughs> Probably can't. But if somebody else is writing a book and they could use hunting, these are all open to all of us. So we're looking at Stefan's book, but you know categories are up for grabs and if you can if your book could squeeze into one of these so you can see these are the kinds of these are the kinds of categories you want to get in all these number ones here even a three or a two these are amazing categories i'm going to leave this page open <laughs> you can see what you should write a book about so i'm going to stop sharing here and i'm just going to have a couple minutes for uh questions Where's my, I don't know how to stop sharing. Oh, there we go. So I know a couple of people just jumped you. in. I want to say thank you for all this information. This was great. Yeah. Oh, good, yeah. good, good. Great. I would, I would love to ask a question. Yeah. Um, so what does it accomplish when you are number one or number two um, in your in your narrow category? Uh -huh. um, some bragging uh -huh. rights and like- No, your book that... gets found. When people are looking on Amazon, your book gets found. So here, if that's really quick. used the keywords and even if they haven't used the category words. The category helps with ranking. It just, it helps like kind of puff you up in, in, in visibility. The keywords, uh, they kind of work hand in hand, I think, you know, but the keywords are the, the ones that if, if you use that keyword and somebody searches it and you have some kind of power in your categories, you're not ranked five millionth, you know, you're like somewhere up there, then the chances are that your book will get seen. It'll pop up. So for mine, if you plug in a uh, dating memoir, edgy dating memoir, empowering memoir, empowering dating memoir, dating honesty, first date honesty, any of my keywords, my book pops up. Um, cool. So yeah, yeah. So it's, it, it's, it works, you know, like use the right keywords and ones that are are searched for not just one that you like tell your friends to look for your book under that thing because that won't help you you want one that your avatar is looking for you know that millions of people or thousands or at least a hundred people a month are typing that in yeah anything else it's been really helpful amy thank you cool now i have to go buy publisher rocket i guess <laughs> so i'm going to give you that link and this is my like affiliate link this is my only little marketing strategy thing in this call is to share this link with you and i'll send it out in the in the email that has the recording but here this is i wanted to send it to everyone here is the link for publisher rocket if you want to buy it i think it costs 99 dollars um 
and then eventually after my book launch, I think I will, um, I can publish books now. I bought a hundred ISBNs, so I can, I'm a publisher now. Um, so if anybody needs help with publishing, like I can kind of be your publisher and I don't know how that's gonna happen, but I kind of see that in my future that I'll be, I love doing all this research and everything. And as much as I wanna write, this is also very fun for me. So I can help with that and uh, with publishing or with, you know, I can be a consultant or something like that around one-on-one -on -one with you around your books if you want that. Uh, I don't know, I don't have any like packages to offer or anything like that or numbers to give you, but I but I definitely kind of see that in my future because I enjoy it. And Amy, it's just been, yeah. Is your book published now or is it pre-published still? It's, it's pre-order, yeah. Pre I have the one and only copy in the whole world right here. And uh, then- uh, no, Feeling. Hmm? Okay, that's an awesome feeling. Yeah, yeah, I carry it everywhere. <laughs> so, so how are you able to uh, do these things online before you've pre-published? Like, uh, well, like it's, on pre it's on pre-order. It's on pre-order, so people can buy it. Okay. Um, just the ebook. You can't put a paperback on pre-order, but you can put a, uh, a an ebook on pre-order. And so what I'm working on now is getting people to pre-read it and review it both on Goodreads and then to prepare to review it on Amazon. They can't leave reviews until the launch, but you wanna have on day one, you wanna have people ready to download a free version of your ebook and put up a review right away. Okay. Yeah. Were you saying, Amy, that um, if the email address that you use for Facebook shows that person is a Facebook friend of yours, that they won't accept the review? Is that what what I learned is that, yeah, if there is a way that your Facebook page and your Amazon page can be linked, Goodreads is part of Amazon. So Goodreads and Amazon are one thing. So you want right. one email for those guys and a different email for Facebook. Otherwise, your Facebook friends, this is what I heard. I, this is not science until the day happens that my pre-order goes live or that my order goes live, right. that my book is launched. But um, that's what I was told is that if you uncouple Facebook with Amazon and the whole Amazon world, uh, then they won't, they won't somehow be able to see that who your Facebook friends are. And, uh, and if they, if let's, if they do know who your Facebook friends are, those reviews from your Facebook friends are not counted as verified reviews. If anybody missed that part earlier. Which seems really odd to me because it's terrible. Many people I know have Facebook accounts that are literally only under their pen name as an author. Uh huh. And their Facebook friends are just people who are interested in them as an author. So right. It's weird that they would say that you can't. Right. You would think that they would want us to market ourselves on social media and get known yeah. and everything. Um, Very odd. But I think it's like Facebook and Amazon are two different people. <laughs> Jeff Bezos and Mark Zuckerberg, you know, like they're not playing together. So well, clearly, but that just seems like an odd coupling of like oh well if somebody's your friend on Facebook that means they're your friend friend That's right that you're that, that your family or something I know right. I know it's not the way it's it like, works it's not somebody doing me a favor <laughs> yeah I know but whatever I know all right well I gotta I go but thank you so much for all me the too. info it was really helpful yeah thank yeah you. it's thank been great so and I'll do other ones of these and I'd love your feedback I know I'm not the most uh organized person but it's kind of fun to bumble around <laughs> and discover yeah. things we're yeah. learning as you're learning yeah, yeah. So we're all learning together yeah do you need volunteers to read your book before it's it's out um, I think that there's a couple copies left if you want to read, if you read on ebook, do you read, do you read oh, any yes. ebooks? I don't know how to do That's that. the only format it's available Got in it. right okay. now. Okay, we're yeah. a more on. Yeah. Okay, well, if you need that, let me know. I'll figure out how to do it. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you. And I, I wasn't able to get until now, so you'll send a recording? Yes, I'll awesome. send the recording. Um, Deborah, did you put your, your email in the chat or at least your name? Um, I'll see if I can figure out how to do that. Okay. Here, I'll, I'll just put a note to myself. Okay. Thank you. Uh,
and G. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for Good doing Good luck this. with everything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me know if yeah. I can help. That was fun. Fascinating. Was great. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye. 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 Good night, everybody. Bye. Good night, everybody.